Hi guys, this is Jerry. In this video, we're gonna have a quick look at this 2022 Kia Sportage. This particular trim is called LX, so pretty much the base model in New Zealand. This vehicle is the 2 liter diesel all-wheel drive, so still a quite high spec performance, but obviously on a base model trim. So in terms of features, everything looks pretty much the same as a M Kia Sportage LX petrol version, but instead you get a 2 liter diesel plus all-wheel drive as standard across the range. This is how the vehicle looks like on the side. Very, very nice looking body. And let's look at the front from the outside. So the vehicle does have this big chunk grill. So with piano black plus silver trim across it and with LED daytime running lights around the, around the body. So the boomerang shape around the side and plus halogen lights on this one by the way if you go to the high spec you will be able to full L you'll be able to get full led lights and this is what the kia new logo looks like on the new vehicles at the front you do get parking sensors but no cameras obviously on the side we are getting a 17 inch alloy wheels machine finish two-tone and a very chunky tire so the tire makes it very comfortable to drive and again, if you do like a bigger wheels, you are able to get it through higher spec. And the vehicle looks definitely longer than the old models. Let's go to the back. So again, tail lights, very cool looking design. We don't have the privacy glass at least, but again, if you pay off your ground more, you will be able to get higher spec with the privacy glass at the back, plus the side windows. And this is the boot. So underneath, we are getting a full-size spare wheel. It's going to be very handy for people, obviously, in, in those all-wheel drive situations. And look at the boot. It's huge. Um, compared to the last generation, this is a very big step up. It certainly feels longer than the older generation. We do get this puzzle tray that covers the privacy. You can obviously take it off if you need to. So yeah, overall, very, very deep size. I can just reach it with, without bending my knees and you do get anchor points at the back, three of them for your baby seats, Nate. This one has manual tailgate, so again if you do like the auto tailgate or power tailgate you are able to get on higher trim. And let's look at the back, so this particular trim comes with fabric seats and if you are going on higher models you will be, be able to get leather by the way and isofix point at the back let's jump in so the front seat is my sitting position I'm about 178 centimeters tall um, I get tons of knee room tons of leg room I'm not even um, I'm not even touching this I won't be able to touch this at all so there are so much room at the back again compared to the last generation this definitely has a much longer wheelbase I do have air vents at the back Unfortunately, no charging ports, but you have two cup holders and the center armrest. The fabric is soft, is hugging you, so that's pretty decent. One thing I really like, I have to jump out to be able to show you, is the adjustable uh, rear seats. You are able to go this way, you have to go all the way like this. See, so for a small, small small people at the back you're able to nearly um, stretch yourself so that's really good and let's have a look at the dashboard this is how the dashboard looks like quite cool design for the new shape um, plus a digital display and 8 inch touchscreen so just remember this is the base model so you only get the 8 inch screen if you want a bigger screen if you want a little bit more bells whistles you are able to get it up and yeah, quite like this design. It's obviously driver sort of centered, so the display all towards this way, and it's easy to reach. Cool, let's jump to the front. And vehicle has a normal vehicle key. So open the key blade, we're getting a lock when we're folding, and unlock button. And this last button only open the tailgate or unlock the tailgate. 
it won't go all the way because it's a manual tailgate so this is how the front looks like on the driver panel very easy door handle plus window control you get manual adjustment seats for the back recline and slide underneath and honestly the seats are not too bad um, no, we don't get many many people complain the quality of the um, how do you say fabric seats at all. And let's switch on the vehicle. So again, this vehicle is powered by a two liter diesel drivetrain with all drive behind it. So the two liter diesel and turbo obviously gives it at 137 kilowatts and 416 newton meters powered by a eight speed automatic gearbox so that's got enough power for any people for daily drive it's not going to be sporty but it's very very good in terms of driving and this is definitely a better drivetrain compared to the last one for the diesel powertrain and the transmission works really really well um, I just really enjoy that 8 speed powertrain and suspension well itself is pretty decent. So let's talk about features. So you get leather steering on the, at the front, you get automatic um, the adaptive cruise control, uh, you get land keep assist for steering assist and that's standard we are getting land departure warning so it always on whenever you switch the vehicle on. Auto lights at the front and other things you get volume control everything on the left hand side you get indicate uh, you get windscreen wiper and on, unfortunately this is not rain sensing so just by pretty much um, yourself to adjust the windscreen wiper yeah so everything else looks it's quite got quite a lot of buttons obviously but very easy to get used to you can simply tap the button go through the menus change all your settings all that things um, unfortunately this is just the normal key, key start if you would like a key start you have to go to the higher model again paying a few grand more and let's go to the side so we have an 8 inch display that we'll be able to use for a radio control plus reverse camera just like that and you get front and rear parking sensors um, you get up Apple CarPlay Android Auto but you can you can use USB or you can simply go through the wireless Apple CarPlay just like that and my phone is not connected I'm just gonna simply leave it here I will be able to go through different variety of things I can use and then unfortunately no wireless charging but you are giving cable charging anyway climate control just one zone so speed and also the temperature on the side direct buttons in the center so that's actually very easy to use gear selector that's like the old typical gear selector I would wish they go a little bit over this you may change you may get a new gear selector or anything like that but this is how the, it looks like from the pre, pretty much the previous generation there's not much change reverse neutral normal and plus and minus for your tiptronic on the side you get a drive mode selector or terrain selector so if you push it down it allows you to go to drive or terrain just down there and then simply switch around you can see on the dashboard we're gonna go through eco normal sport and smart most people are gonna drive a normal or smart but if you do want to overtake someone spot is the way to go and this circle around the sort of the dashboard does change where you change this any of these graphics so that's pretty handy uh, we got parking sensors, we got reverse camera, we got auto hold for the handbrake, we got heel descendability, and guess what? You haven't seen the handbrake over this side. The handbrake is just down there, just over here. Even for me, I keep forgetting about where the handbrake is whenever I jump into Kia because we deal with other brands. Uh, just a small thing we get used to. So pull to put it on, push to release, just like that. Very simple. Um yeah, so overall, very, very well finished inside. Uh, I do enjoy that, by the way. Uh, so let's go for a drive, to see how it goes. All right, we're good to go. So this is gonna be the first time I'm gonna use this super real mode. Hopefully this test drive will be will be better for the, your experience. And by the way, if you're enjoying the contents, if you would like me to do more videos like this, um, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, it will be really helpful uh, to, for the channel to grow 
uh, leave a like below if you're enjoying the contents as well uh, hopefully this helps you in some way in purchasing your vehicle or looking for your new or used vehicle in the future so let's go for it handbrake is off we're good to go As you can see the power is very very easy to pick up um, it's certainly very very good powertrain for what we need for daily drive and that's 50 uh, I will be able to drive to the 100 area just now so let's see how the power goes and just like that you will always hear this beeping sound from the land departure warning uh, you do need to go through these menus to switch it off uh, whenever you start the vehicle it's just one small thing I don't like about new Kias um, other than that it's pretty good let's put the foot down and it's 100 so very easy to drive again very very easy to to get the power to kick in because you get good amount of torque from the diesel engine uh, you don't have to rev really hard to get sort of power or anything like that um, transmission is very well you're getting good amount of road noise unfortunately this is not the perfect road um, we are driving on sort of country road around Pukekohe in New Zealand so this isn't the best ideal surface to test the noise cancelling I do get some very minimum wind noise most noise I get is wind noise uh, sorry it's tire noise on the road and for engine noise wise um, it's it's okay it's certainly gonna be noisy or more noisy or whatever you want to say in English uh, than the petrol burnt and obviously being a diesel you are going to get that sort of noise it is it is okay uh, we're just not gonna have to follow this traffic for now and handling wise very very good handling uh, it feels responsive um, I certainly feel this is a much much better drive compared to the last generation I remember the last generation it is a very good car um, but you don't get so much fun or so much joy on driving the vehicle this is definitely one of them. I think the driving part is pretty good, pretty decent. I'm definitely not disappointed once I start driving this vehicle. And along with, by the way, along with the adaptive cruise control and land departure warning, those features. We are also getting things like blind spot detection. Uh, we're also getting things like pre collision warning, emergency braking. So, those are the features that come with the new Sport Touch as standard in New Zealand. Um, you won't miss any of the new features. So, only on the highest spec, you are getting stuff like um, a. On the highest spec, you are getting stuff like, for example, um, other things like uh, side view monitor when you turn your signal light left and right uh, you're getting things like 360 camera um, but yeah on the safety perspective you're not missing anything on the base model although it's not been tested at the time of the film uh, but I'm pretty sure these new models will get five star in New Zealand and Australia obviously we're using the same standard uh, since the earlier generation has got five star already so don't think that'll be an issue uh, the only issue if you're looking to purchase one of these uh, if you're watching the vehicle if they're watching the video currently uh, there are stock shortages on, on some of these uh, in New Zealand we have somewhere between three months all the way to ten months potentially to one year wait on specific trains and models uh, hopefully if you're looking to buy one you don't need to wait for too long and obviously we we work at Abbott Pukekohe in Auckland. If you 
if you are looking to purchase one of these, you can go with us, placing orders. And I will leave our company website down below in the comment. And I will leave my email down below as well. If you have any questions, if you're interested in the vehicle, please feel free to contact me directly. I will be able to assist you on this. Or any of my colleagues will be able to assist you on this as well. So let's go back to the driving part. So as we can see, the the moving around is very easy. Uh, I certainly quite like the steering. Um, it feels premium. It's got premium driving characteristics out of it. And the power very smooth. Look at this. It doesn't push you too hard but you're feeling that power is there and it's gonna go and being of all drive the traction is plenty so you're not gonna twist around you're not gonna be pushed around around the corners if you're gonna just drive a little bit more aggressively and that's one thing I quite like the all drive especially in difficult situations but if you're gonna drive around city all the time you may not necessarily have to have all drive um, yeah, but the diesel engine always come with all drive by the way for this particular train I'm able to test the acceleration again just like that you can also tell the rev is not gonna be too aggressive um, I was putting the foot down for roughly about 80% to 90% uh, over that 100 speed limit it works just fine. Honestly, when I drove the two liter, I did I did remember I said the two liter is fine, the, the petrol version is fine. But once I drive this, uh, I think this is a better drivetrain. Uh, there's no doubt this is a better drivetrain because the power, the torque, uh, also the all drive. But just let you the way you are paying a premium cost for this. Current pricing based on the current pricing, there are about seven thousand dollars difference between this and the petrol variants, being a diesel, uh, being a all drive. So that helps you take that into consideration in terms of making your decisions. But yeah, certainly for me, I like I enjoy this driving. Um, it's got enough power, it's got enough features. Um, couple things I would like first one is keyless entry uh, which you can get in the next model uh, I don't need the big screen but that screen will work but if I do get a big screen I'm gonna be happy as well uh, so again for people around town you're gonna be more than happy about this and just like that brakes works really well too The turn is very easy. Um, there's very minimum body roll, so that does help with the overall turning because the car actually sits a little bit lower than what normal SUVs works. Uh, we're gonna just cross this. All right, I think that's pretty much about this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this helped you in some way. Uh, if you are enjoying the content, if you like the content, please consider subscribe to the channel. Um, that helps me to grow, helps me to, helps me to do more videos like this. Uh, if you're in Auckland or if you're in New Zealand, uh, if you want to purchase a vehicle from us or from me personally, uh, you can see our contact, uh, contact details below at abit.co.nz or my name is Jerry, my email is jerry at abit.co.nz and we'll see you in the next one.